It controls the three different branches of government. What are those? Legislative, Legislative executive, executive, executive. That's not the Chuck Schumer version, by the way. You know who Chuck Schumer is? Senator of New York. Have you heard his definition of the three branches of government? I'm serious, folks. Senator. Senate, House, and President. He said the three branches of government are the Senate, House, and President. It explains some of the problems we're having in Congress. Okay? The President or the Executive, and you can put out one of those words in that blank that you want to. Congress or the legislative branch. And then courts of the judicial branch. So one of the things the Constitution does is it talks about and controls how those different branches function and what their powers are. The second thing it does is that it, it controls the way in which the president and the Congress are elected, and also how federal judges are appointed. The third thing is that it controls the way government officials, including the president and judges, can be fired. Fired. <laughs> One of the favorite words in this study. Number four, it controls the relationship between the federal government and the states. And I think we're going to spend some time there because I will tell you that is one of the most intense issues being debated in our nation today. And it has been historically since our history began. But we're going to spend some time on that very issue. And then most particularly, the Constitution specifies your rights as a citizen or as an inhabitant of the United States. In fact, the Constitution basically is your contract with your government. It, it describes what the government's responsibilities and powers are, and it describes what your responsibilities and rights and powers are. Okay? Now, this, the United States Constitution, fundamentally changed, this is one of the things that makes it so remarkable, it fundamentally changed the relationship between people and the government. How did it do that? What did it change? They took more rights. Exactly. In fact, this is the first constitution in existence whose express purpose was to limit the government to protecting the rights and the liberties of its people. Let me say that again. This Constitution was written specifically for the purpose of protecting the rights and liberties of the people. That is this government's job. That's why it was instituted and constituted. So the Frankers recognized what we've learned to be true down through generations is that unchecked, unlimited government can and will strip the people of their freedoms. 